Hey everyone, it's uh, Scott and Josh here, back from Classic Elite. It's been a while since we've made a D3 video, uh, but Josh has unlocked, what's it called, Wh Whimsy Shire? Whimsy Shire. Whimsy. So we are on our way to go, is it fight some ponies? Ponies, teddy bears, flowers, you know, cute, cuddly stuff like that. Awesome. What Diablo is known for? <laughs> so uh, this is the, the secret unlockable level. How, how difficult was it to, uh, to actually unlock this? It's not hard at all to unlock it initially. There's a, a series of items you have to get. You can look it up on the internet. Um, and you just have to find them. Some of them are just, they're just all random. You find it in the environment, it's random. You, there's a random, uh, what would I call it, rare enemy you can fight. They have a chance of dropping one of the items. Uh -huh. uh, they're on all the different acts. You take them to your blacksmith after you get the recipe. And you give him all the crap and he makes it. <laughs> Where, uh, what are the four items? I have, I think, a, a, a shin shard or something and a, and a mushroom. Yeah, I'm trying to think. There's a mushroom, a uh, shin bone. Shin bone, that's what it is. Shin bone, yeah. Uh, of course, the plans. Um, you know, Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot <laughs> here. It's been so long since uh, since you've unlocked it. Yeah, that's fine. No, I've drawn a, drawn a blank. The Essentially, you have to fight... Uh, like the boss before the last boss, I think. He drops the plans and then go through all the other areas collecting the items. And it's not bad. It's just rare, random chances to get everything. Cool. But you get a staff, and when you come over here, do you see the cow? Uh, yeah. Yes, cow king. Yeah, once you make the staff, you come talk to the cow king. Okay. And he has a little we'll dialogue here. You can see it. He has to go through a little speech. Says he's utterly pleased. <laughs> uh, for those who didn't play Diablo 2, it's kind of a, a spoof or a nod to Diablo 2's cow level. So that's why the Cow King is here. I like it. And then um, once he finishes his little speech, we can go down here. Uh, when you get the staff initially, I forget how much it costs, like 100,000 gold? It's a lot. Uh -huh. Yes, and, it is. Yes, and then every level of difficulty up from that, you have to pay more money. And the last one I got, which we're going to do the Nightmare version, was 220,000 gold total, I think. Jeez. After I bought the book and paid to have it made. Oh, sweet. Wimsy Shire. Yeah. So here we are. <laughs> this is the equivalent of an Act 5 dungeon. Okay. Now, I... Uh... Oh, that's awesome. I've done a really good job of staying away from YouTube videos. This is really, truly my first <laughs> look at Whimsy Shire, and it's awesome. <laughs> Did you pay attention? Did you see your map, what it looks like? Uh... In the right corner there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> like a coloring book. Yeah. It's awesome. Is there, is, is there something else I'm missing? Uh, not really. I mean, you can, you can tab into the map and... We don't have much of it discovered, but it'll have all sorts of little drawings on it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, uh, instead of health orbs, there are cupcakes. <laughs> Dude, this place is great. Yeah, when you come here, uh, like, we're a little over-leveled now for the Nightmare version. My but I imagine face. when you come here on Inferno, it's going to be tough. Because these things pack a wallop initially. Whoa. I must wait to use that ability. But there's chubby pink unicorns and clouds. How big is this level? Uh, it's not too big. It's about as big as an average dungeon. It only has one level that I've ever seen. Okay. But you can get some rare items from here. You can uh, get a lot of money, really. Nice. Because all these clouds drop cash. Oh, okay. Or generally, I think, yeah, cash items. Yeah. I couldn't tell if they were enemies or uh, yeah, these will fly. something in the environment. Yeah, pretty much it's just uh, teddy bears, uh, flowers, unicorns. The music's all demented too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. So is there any, any backlash from the brony community? Uh, <laughs> I no. Don't know. <laughs> is that like the the My Little Pony? Yeah, yeah. Not that I've heard, but I mean, I don't, I don't know. I would love to go to a My Little Pony forum and dig up uh, what's going on over there. 
but yeah. Um, Let's see here. So in the Diablo 2, did you uh, did you actually play the cow level? No, I did not play the game enough to actually play the cow level, sadly. It was sort of like a, uh, hey, Diablo 2, oh, I have to click to move, this sucks, and I never played much of it. <laughs> but uh, if they would have told me in Diablo 2 that I could split a unicorn in half, I would have done it. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I gotta admit, I am so happy that you went through the trouble of finding all the crap to get us here. Yeah. I've put no effort into this, and here I am. It looks, I don't know, I, I pictured it to to look more 8-bit. It's, it's more polished and cartoony than I was expecting. I would love an 8-bit Diablo level. That would be really awesome. With, with the mechanics of Diablo 3. There's a pot of gold up here, you might have an item from it. Teddy bears. So how, how are these guys? You're not having any trouble at all, are you? No, none. Yeah. I'm pretty pretty powerful for this. I need spirit. Yeah, I came here right after um, beating the game on uh, Nightmare. And it wasn't impossible, but it was definitely harder. Cause I'm a, I've been pretty speed. lazy. Uh, I, I'm not to hell yet. You're close though. But I'm close. You're so close to going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hell is a lot of fun though. Like I can't wait till you get there and see like the enemies just hit so much harder and the tactics are a little different. Well, I'm getting a little apprehensive about it because I'm a, a melee guy I need speed. and it sounds like the further you get into the game the more it's better to be a range character a range uh, range person yeah I can definitely see that what I try to do I keep a um, a couple of tricks in my uh, I call them tricks but my tactic is to have uh, abilities that get me out of harm's way okay like, like my charge that you see me do or my leap so if I get walled in by a bunch of guys, rather than leap in to do damage, I leap out. Gotcha. Run off and use the potion. That's what I need to get better at doing is finding finding things that are going to get me out of trouble. Right now, I'm using a lot of uh, like ma mantra of healing, so I can handle being stuck in like a, a wall of acid or uh, like a trail of fire or something like that. That's great. I don't. Barbarians have a lot of healing stuff, but it's more in the lines of uh, if I hit you, I get damage or I get life back. If I, Not enough you know, spirit. take so much damage, then I can use this ability that might give me life back. Or, it's real situational. Yeah, and it sounds like it's, it's some sort of an effect uh, after you've been able to actually do something. Yeah. <laughs> Your guy's awesome. He just zips around. <laughs> yeah. That dude had a lot of life. Man, I don't really get anything, I don't think. Let's see here. Whoa. There's some big numbers of the stuff I have here. Some nice gems. This place is great. Yeah, you can make a lot of money here. I need to get to hell so that I can finally upgrade my, uh, my jeweler and my blacksmith. Yeah. That's been the biggest thing about being stuck in Nightmare. I don't have enough spirit. Ah. My wounds are to get Yeah, I, uh, I actually got mine maxed out on the, um, what am I on now? In, no, I'm on hell, right? Yeah. Yeah. I get confused. Yeah, I'm, I've already maxed my guy out for hell, which costs a lot of money, but it's not too bad. It's like with that patch that they, uh, reduce the amount of money and items it takes to level your blacksmith, it's not hard at all. I'm guessing that as soon as I get to hell, I'll be able to just kind of go there and, and... Just click the button until he's all the way leveled. I have lots of the stuff. Yeah, and now when you start getting, I think it's tomes. Like yeah. you have pages, now you get tomes, yeah. Let's see. I do wish that there was more than these three enemies down here. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Like I was a little disappointed in that. My strength returns. The the initial wow is fantastic and 
And I'm wishing that there was more. Or even if they were like blue or gold or purple, which is they're just different colors. Yeah. You do get the rare enemies, but they're not any different. They just might be bigger. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just looked at the map. Yeah. There's like little rockets. There's sun. a little girl with a bow. Yeah. That ability is not yet recharged. Your flaws are revealed. Oh, sweet. Yeah, getting items isn't so bad though when you think about it, because you can actually like go back on the normal level. You know, the the original difficulty. Yeah. And get them that way. You don't have to play on a higher difficulty or anything. So you can just breeze through areas. Speeding. Which is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's really easy to... to be lazy in this game. I've taken some pretty big breaks and I've come back and I've had no problem. Yeah. But be careful if you do that. You, you can get yourself in a bit of a, a D3 overload. I did that on accident. You played, was it last weekend? Or? Yes. I don't, way too long. It, it was like the whole day Sunday. Yeah. Uh, I logged on to play with my buddy Matt, who's done some videos with us, and he's like, alright, I'm picking off. And then some other friends got on. I'm like, alright, I'll play a little longer. And you had been around for two different play, like, <laughs> two different, like, uh, playthroughs or whatever. Like, dude, are you still on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got on that morning or that afternoon to uh, help another friend who just bought the game kind of get his bearings. And you were online, and then I get online that evening like 9 or 10 and jump in your game, and you're a couple acts ahead of where you were. Yeah, it was, uh, I think I think I went from level 42 to maybe 49 in a, in a day. Wow. That's a, for me, that's a ton. I don't know uh, how that is relative to a lot of other people. It just feels like a lot. I played. It took all day for me to do that. Whoa! What? I like danced there. That was strange. I'll have to go back and watch what happened. <laughs> oh, I'm, I must be like casting something. Never mind. Save a dance animation. That's all. That would be awesome. I can portal. Oh yeah. See, I hardly ever use that. I played the the multiplayer like twice. Uh, we need to. I, I have not finished the multiplayer. Let's see, I need to. We both have that. Have you, um, we talked earlier, you haven't really bought much on the Steam sale, have you? No, the only things I've bought so far are uh, Sonic Generations and Insanely uh, Twisted Shadow it. Planet. I said you're playing Sonic Generations. How's uh, Shadow Planet? Um, I only turned it on to make sure that it worked right, and that's about it. But uh, Kevin at the Paranerd did an interview with the developer, and he really liked the game, and the developer seemed like a really cool really cool guy so uh, I'm interested to play it and I've heard good things about it but I don't really have any any reports or any opinions other than it works and it plays very smoothly on my PC nice which speaking of PCs I'm currently playing this uh, on my doghouse gaming rig which is uh, really really fun to have <laughs> <laughs> you're like loot can't talk yeah about I got this I did I got distracted <laughs> I know <laughs> Oh, for something that's not even that great. You have to check, though. You never know. So, is there a boss in uh, Windyshire? No, sadly, there's not. There's no Cow King or anything like that. It's just whatever. you just get to the end and then you just look for an exit. Yep. There could be. I mean, I don't know if there's any difference with the uh, Inferno level. I wouldn't imagine, but maybe. But it's fun to, to romp around in, and eventually you can come out here and get a lot of money. I mean, you can just keep running Whimsyshire over and over again for cash. Yeah. Well, it's... The rest of the game is this, right? I mean, I've played through it a few times, so... Yeah. I guess it's nice just to have some different colors. Yeah, to have colors. <laughs> There's a lot, like, super vibrant. And that's it. We My ran through Windshot. Alright. Hey, now, has it been random every time you've played it? Yeah. I mean, it's random as much as, like, the rest of the game is random. 
the path's a little different every time, but it's about the same. I mean, uh, oh, there's so much you can do. Yeah, a bunch of stringy little islands, a bunch of water around, and all the same old enemies. Cool. Well, uh, that's our playthrough of Whimsyshire, and we'll be back with some videos when I finally get to hell. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.